So, Mrs. Rose, I don't mean to pressure you, but uh, I am anxious to know. Understandably, yes. BLT, please, no Brad. Oh, I meant if you were coming to the murder mystery party. Oh, that, yes. Yes, you are? It's just that it's the end of the week, Twyla. So that's always chock-a-block. And then there are the kids, you know, both of them, David, Alexis. Well, I know you're busy. I was just, uh, I don't know, I was just hoping you'd bring a little something to the party. Touch of celebrity, perhaps. I was actually thinking bagel bites. Uh -huh. Did I mention it was a potluck? Oh, you most certainly did not. Well, I would ask someone else. It's just that uh, so far, no one is coming. No one's coming to your party. Well, in fairness, the party is still a few hours away. And some people did say that if another thing that's supposed to happen doesn't happen, then they might be able to come. So that's good. So as of now, you have no one on your guest list. Well, I shouldn't have said no one. My mom will come. And uh, she'll probably bring whoever she's dating. And he'll most likely bring some younger friend. Twyla, this is unacceptable. There are myriad tactics to boost numbers at your party. Well, you start by copying a few influential guests. You'd be shocked at how many celebrities show up to a thing with the promise of a free Wagyu slider. I, I, I'm not charging anyone. This is just for fun. Oh, this is worse than I assumed. How about a signature cocktail? I hadn't thought of that. Okay, shouldn't you be? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, we're going to start with follow-up. You secure your VIP list and you work your way down from there. <laughs> 